I had nothing. I just never gave up. I'm gonna tell you something. That decision cost me everything I had. I, I lost everything. I lost my family. I lost friends. I lost everything. I became homeless. I lived in a car for three years. But I just saw this, I saw this, I saw this vision. I just pursued it. I said, wow, that's it. You have to take chances in life. Life is about risk. If you play it safe in life, you ain't gonna have much of a life. If you play it safe, you won't have much of a life. Life is risk. It takes it take courage to pursue your dream. Now it's gonna cost you something. Most people are not willing to pay what it costs to go after your dream, cause you're gonna have to hurt a little bit. And most people don't like being uncomfortable. If you don't wanna be uncomfortable, please do not pursue success because success is a very uncomfortable feeling. And I just learned to be, I learned to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Life is hard. See, for every time you have a plan, a dream, an aspiration, or a goal, do you know what happens every time you have one of those? This thing comes along called life. It happens to everybody. Life has disappointments, it's got peaks and valleys. You're going to lose somebody you care about one day. That's a valley. Somebody going to close the plant you thought was going to stay open so you could retire. That's a valley. Somebody going to fire you for an unjust cause. That's a valley. The people that got your credit card going to sell their company, going to sell their business to another credit card company. Your 18% go up to 26%. You don't even know why now. Your minimum didn't change because you had because it's life. You can stop thinking that life fitting to be easy because I got news for you, it ain't. That's a false hope to think you're going to have a, a, a wonderfully carefree life. That's unthinkable. We all live in this bubble. What you got to do, you got to put more air in your bubble. You got to blow your bubble up. Expand yourself. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. Start putting some pressure on. Put some pressure on yourself. Get out here and get about it. Look, I'd love to sugarcoat this thing for you. I'd love to tell you, look, you can go out here and get rich, do a couple of things, that ain't, that ain't happening. You got to get real doggish. You got to get downright funky if you want to make it. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go on about your business. If you think ordinary is cool, ain't no problem. It's some really, really wonderful ordinary people. But if you are sitting in this room and you have extraordinary aspirations, then you're gonna have to do extra. You put extra on top of ordinary and you come up with extraordinary. It's no other way. I'm sorry, but here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities, all of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. makes the difference in the quality of people's lives. Why is it some people in business or even in life seem to have every advantage? Everything's been given to them. The right timing, the right market, the right technology, the right insight. Or just an average person. Did you ever notice how sometimes the people that were given everything, they were given love, support, education, money, very oftentimes those are the people that spend their life going in and out of rehab. And then you see people that seem to have everything against them. You know, they didn't have the money, they didn't have the education, they didn't have the background. But something inside of them was so hungry that they were driven to find answers. They were driven to find a way to add value to other people's lives, and they found a way to thrive, to succeed, to achieve, to contribute on a significant scale. What is that difference that makes the difference? I 
don't care how much money you make, you only get 24 hours in a day. And the difference between Oprah and the person that's broke is Oprah uses her 24 hours wisely. Don't let it go. See, and here's a, something else I want you to begin to look at. Why is it that most people don't pursue their dreams or don't do better than what they're doing if they're capable of doing it? I think that many of us don't go the next step because we don't know what to do yet. And I say that, that the reason that we don't even explore the possibility of what to do is because subconsciously we don't believe that it can happen for us and we don't believe that we deserve it. Once you understand how valuable time is, you've begun a journey that you will not forget as long as you live. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s, they went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You gotta have heart. How much time do you spend working on you? How much time do you spend every day working on your dream? In the last 90 days, how many books have you read? In the last year, what new skill or knowledge have you acquired? What kind of investment have you made in you? So I'm saying that as you begin to look at where you want to go, if you want to make it today, and things are changing so fast, you have to literally run to stand still. psychologically and emotionally make us not use our ability, make us get frustrated or angry or overwhelmed or uncertain or scared or fearful and freeze up and not use that ability, that talent, that skill. And there are other patterns that will get you to own yourself, get you to be able to influence your own team, get you to influence customers. In life, we all have to wait. It's through faith and patience that we inherit the promises. The key is to learn to wait the right way. Not discouraged, upset, negative, it's never going to happen. No, the right way to wait is with expectancy. In other words, I know my set time is coming. of allowing fear to hold you back what's the benefit of giving up on yourself of not stepping out on life and taking life on what is the benefit for you what's the plus in that it's one of the things I had to ask myself so I didn't want to make any mistakes I wanted everybody to like me I wanted to be perfect the first time I did something it's not gonna happen you're going to make some mistakes. You're going to hurt some folks' feelings. You're going to create some enemies. Whenever you decide that you want to begin to take life on, you've got to ask yourself, how long am I going to allow this to hold me back? I like what Zig Ziglar says. He said, fear is false evidence appearing real. That is an illusion that we create in our mind. It is a state of mind that can be changed. So let's look at how we can begin to take some steps to restructure that fear. All right, I gotta say this, I gotta take my time because I wanna make sure you get this. If you only have 24 hours in a day, your success is dependent upon how you use the 24.